Welcome to the Successful Therapist Network. I'm Dr. Richard Nongard, and this is our crash course on doubling your income. In this video, I'm going to guide you into new opportunities and share with you seven things that most therapists will never do. But if you do these things, you can potentially double your income or more. Now, none of these things are magic bullets. Each requires work, learning from others, and implementing the ideas. But that's what the Successful Therapist Network is. It's a place for you to learn how to thrive by learning from others and avoiding some of the common pitfalls that have kept other therapists from experiencing success. Now, I want to define success at the Successful Therapist Network, and it's defined two ways. First, creating positive change and transforming lives in meaningful ways. After all, that's why we became therapists, because we truly enjoy helping other people. But second, where therapists earn what they're worth and are able to live free from financial insecurity. Have you ever experienced the uh, frustration of having to listen to a couple in couples counseling talk about money problems, knowing that you were actually facing some of those same issues? Have you ever tried to help a depressed client whose depression was compounded by their financial problems only to experience the counter-transference of your own debt and your own low pay compared to others with a master's degree or a doctorate? Now, perhaps you have an established private practice and you've even done very well compared to other therapists who have not implemented these ideas. But here's a question for you. Are you still trading dollars for hours? That model limits your time. After all, with this traditional model, you can't have any more dollars than you have hours. There are actually better business models for private practice and therapy. Uh, better models than the model 99% of all therapists use and this course will teach you the seven things that most therapists never do to really break out of that mold. If you implement any of these ideas, much less all seven of these ideas, your entire world might change. Now, at the end of this video, you not only have fresh ideas, but I'm also going to share with you how you can join the Successful Therapist Network and have complete access to unlimited continuing education courses and unlimited access to all of the resources that we have inside of the Successful Therapist Network that can help you to transform your private practice. Now, Before I share these seven things that most therapists never take advantage of, I want to point out that the ideas in this video are useful to those who have an existing uh, private practice and would like to thrive or those who have not yet begun a private practice but want to be successful when they do. The ideas in the Successful Therapist Network are useful for those who are both in full-time private practice as well as those who are seeking to supplement a full-time job with a part-time private practice. And of course, these ideas work for a therapist who wants to see clients in their office or the counselor who wants to begin offering services online to a client base that potentially is worldwide. And now, without further ado, here are the seven things that most therapists never do. And when you do one or more of these things, you have the potential to double your income. Idea number one, create products, therapeutic workbooks, textbooks, self-help books, audio CDs, affirmations, digital downloads, PDFs. I have one friend who even created a therapeutic board game. The great thing about products is they make you money even when you're asleep or when you're sick. And here's the great thing, they never stop making you money. And they create exposure and service promotional tools really on a regional or even a national and potentially even a worldwide level. The value of creating products as a therapist cannot be overstated. It is your pathway to a passive income. I'm still profiting to this day from a therapeutic relaxation training cassette that I made in 1994. Now it's not available as a cassette, it's now a digital download, but I sell several copies of that every month. I've been making money for it for more than 20 years. I actually get a check from Amazon every single quarter for some of my publications, and iTunes automatically deposits in my bank account every single month residual income from my MP3s. Here's the good news, in the current era, you do not need a publisher. You just need some computer skills, some graphic design skills, word processing skills, the ability to record something on your home computer, and then you can sell directly to Amazon, iTunes, other services like that, and you can get paid forever. Your affirmation MP3s like mine could be sold on iTunes across the globe. 
1995, I created a therapeutic workbook that used either the AA or the NA text called The First Three Steps. I'm still receiving payments from that 20 years later. In 2010, I had foot surgery and I wrote a book while I was recovering to help other people apply the benefits of mindfulness meditation to post-surgical recovery. The book is called Medical Meditation and it's been adapted by a number of different organizations and healthcare facilities around the country and they buy that book in quantity and distribute it to their clients. So here's a question for you. Do you want to create passive income and earn money while you sleep? Not through a pyramid scheme or an affiliate network, but by taking your expertise, that expertise that you are already sharing with clients one-on-one -on -one each day and package it in a way that reaches potentially millions of people, then as a therapist, create retail products and distribute and market those worldwide. Idea number two, exploit a niche. Create a niche. You've heard the expression, a jack of all trades and the master of none. Most therapists are actually the jack of all trades and the master of none. I see business cards or other advertisements for therapists all the time that say, Richard Nongard, individual, group, families, depression, anxiety, substance abuse, you know, legal issues, and on and on and on, and the list is infinite. The reality is that when you market yourself with a niche, it makes you an expert. And when you're an expert, you get paid more. People say to me, what's the easiest way to double your income? And my answer is to take all that other stuff off of your business card and website and create and exploit a very specific niche. Now, it's counterintuitive that niching creates more referrals, but it does. I've met many individuals, myself included, who have marketed one particular niche at a particular time, but their successful, happy clients refer them of a wide variety of other clients so people have the opportunity to do more than just that in which they are promoting themselves. Now here's a question for you. Would you like expert advice on creating a niche? In the Successful Therapist Network, I actually provide members with a transcript of a teleseminar that can teach you exactly how to achieve what other therapists have achieved. One of my friends in the Austin area, he opened up Austin's Quit Smoking Headquarters. That's what he promotes and that's the niche. Uh, that he offers and he found tremendous success by being the expert, the go-to guy for nicotine addiction and niching is an opportunity to become the master of a trade, become the expert and get paid more for your expertise. The third idea I think is vital and it's to create a written business plan. Now when I first started my business, Petrie Professional Education back in 1994, I thought why would I need a written business plan after all? It's pretty simple. People need continuing education and I like to talk. But in 1995, I also needed to borrow $2,500 from a relative who was a CPA in order to keep my new business afloat. Being a CPA, he asked me for a written business plan. As a therapist and knowing that my business model was simple, I actually thought it was a waste of time. But I needed the $2,500. The business plan that I wrote in 1995 has carried me for 20 years and to this day I still refer to it, use elements of it. It helps me in decisions, purchases and really remaining focused on my core values and what's most profitable to me. Every business, whether it's a therapy office or a restaurant franchise, needs a written business plan. There are no exceptions. It must be written. A business plan talks about business concept financial features, financial requirements, uh, the starting point or current position, developments and achievements, the goals and actionable objectives, and of course a market analysis to determine whether or not what's being offered is actually relevant. Here's the great thing, a written business plan will pay off. You can find web pages on the internet to help you create a business plan. You can buy books at the local bookstore that will help you to create a business plan. Take advantage from groups like SCORE, the Service Corps of Retired Executives, who are, uh, who are volunteers in the community who can help you with your specific business. I think it's essential to write a written business plan and if you do, you will find that your private practice is going to really thrive like, like, like wildflowers. Members of the Successful Therapist Network 
also have access to our learning center with downloadable resources that actually guide you into creating a business plan very similar to that which I created back in 1995. In many ways, those are modeled after the success that I've had in really a variety of different businesses. And I know that you will have the same level of success that I've had when you write a written business plan and apply it to your private practice endeavors. Idea number four, master social media. Now, social media can be a huge time waster. But for many, it can also be extremely profitable. Those who know how to leverage the power of social media are able to build successful private practices. Social media lets you reach thousands of people who are targeted and local. The great thing is you can generally do it for free. It creates relationships, although online relationships. And in therapy, we of course know that relationships are actually the product that we have to offer. But so many therapists do it wrong. I see therapists wasting money buying Facebook likes or by spending their valuable time creating pages that nobody's ever going to see. Let's look at it from a logical perspective for a moment. If I were to put up a web page, Richard's Therapy Center, well, nobody wants to be seen in a public forum engaging with a therapist on therapeutic issues, do they? So what do we do to promote? Well, we promote a community. I created years ago a page called the Tulsa is Awesome page. It connected a couple hundred people and thousands of their friends and by now it's reached over a million different page views. I post events about the community and now and then other moderators post uh, about the community and things that are important to them. And whenever I want to, I can drop in and I can post announcements or other marketing materials to people who I've established a community relationship is. If you create a like page for your therapy office, it might get a few hundred hits. But a community page will potentially reach tens of thousands, maybe even millions of people each day. Over a million people have seen that Facebook like group or fan page that I created. I have over 7 million hits on my YouTube channel and I get clients every single month from the videos that I've posted on YouTube. My internet forums on Ning and other networks create interest and they create community. Two things that are essential for a social media page to become a source of high paying referrals. I actually wrote my doctoral dissertation on transformational leadership and using social media as a tool for cultural transformation. As part of that work, preceding the dissertation, I created a course for Bucky Graduate University on social media, specifically on community, culture, and identity. I made that entire course, a two-day two -day seminar, available to any and all of the members of the Successful Therapist Network. Of course, if you're not a member of our network, you could purchase it for its full fee from BGU. But of course, if you join the Successful Therapist Network, you'll have complete access to that two-day training that others have described as transformational in their own success in using social media as a tool to help other people and to build a thriving private practice. Idea number five, perhaps the most controversial of all, start coaching and stop therapizing. For many therapists, they really only see one way to help people, and that is to use their skills and their degrees and their license to diagnose and treat mentally ill individuals. But you have a degree and you have skills in problem solving, and people who see coaches have as many profound outcomes as those who see therapists. But coaching is not the same thing as therapy. I used to be a substance abuse counselor, but in private practice, actively using alcoholics and drug addicts drug addicts are both unreliable and holes in your appointment book for missed sessions cost you money and working with drug addicts and alcoholics can actually be high risk in an individual office session. Now I don't diagnose and treat substance abuse as a counselor but every week I do help people quit smoking using those same skill sets. Just recently I worked with a grandmother she was 62 she actually had a diagnosis of leukemia and she came to see me for smoking cessation. She was actually on her way to Houston for treatment at, uh, uh, at MD Anderson uh, Cancer Center. And she wanted to quit smoking before she began her treatment. And the reason why was simple. She had one grandchild who was two years of age. And she didn't know if she had two weeks, two months, two years, or 20 years left to live. But she did know that if she was gonna make it through the treatment, and if she was gonna recover, 
she was going to do that in part because she succeeded at smoking cessation. And she also knew that if the outcome of the cancer treatment uh, was not successful and she were to die from her cancer, she knew that, well, uh, the time that she had remaining would be enhanced by no longer being dependent on cigarettes, which would increase the quality of that relationship with her grandchild. With her grandchild. It was wonderful to work with her and help her experience success. As a marriage and family therapist, I used to believe it was my job to get Bob and Bertha to stop fighting and to start loving again. So week after week, I used to help dysfunctional couples try to rekindle a spark among the chaos. Sometimes insurance would even pay me part of the fee I charged, but I don't do that anymore. Now I use my skills as a marriage and family therapist to help excellent couples achieve greatness. It's the same skill set, but nobody's fighting in my office. I worked with a couple who, uh, she was 58, he was 62. And by all measures, they had been successful in life. They had been married since they were uh, late teenagers, early 20s. They had raised three children who had gra graduated from college, who had become you know, leaders in their community. They had several you know, grandchildren who they loved and enjoyed spending time with. And over the last 40 years, they had built a business together, a dry cleaning business. And now at 60-ish, they were cashing out. They were selling for several million dollars. And they came to me for coaching, not because anything was wrong, but because everything was right. And they were looking for expert guidance to help them enter the next phase of life where they had an opportunity to give back to the community, where they had an opportunity to enhance uh, their own adult children's lives as well as that of their grandchildren, and an opportunity to continue modeling success for others. By the way, they paid my full fee for working with them and I really enjoyed working with them and it was meaningful work for them. Does the idea of a new model where you use your existing skills to work with a new type of client, one that most therapists never even think about working with, does that appeal to you? These clients pay up front. They don't request third-party reimbursement. These clients are highly motivated and perfect candidates in the private practice setting. At the Successful Therapist Network, we work on a daily basis to help therapists succeed with a coaching model, which is often a financially more rewarding model for both clients and for therapists. Idea number six, start seeing clients online. Yes, you can see clients online. You can see them as a counselor or you can see them as a coach. The key is to understanding the technology and the ethics in your jurisdiction and the type of work that you're doing. Many clients are not appropriate for online counseling, but many people are, especially if you adopt a coaching model. I see clients from around the world. Recent clients of mine have been in California, Sweden, Argentina, Singapore, and throughout all 50 of the states. The great thing about seeing clients online is that you can schedule often uh, so that you can see them from your home. I often see clients worldwide, their time zone, their daytime, after my kids go to bed. You can schedule clients whenever you want to and in whatever format works best for you. Oh, by the way, my online clients, they pay me my full fee. Here's the best part of it. They pay me their full fee before they ever even schedule a session with me. There are opportunities for you to join a wide variety of online networks providing care or as you can do, uh, you can do like I have done and work independently on, on, online, offering your services directly to a wide range of different individuals. But here's the thing, both ways will almost always pay more than seeing clients in an office. You have an opportunity to begin using your expertise in a way that truly helps people in meaningful ways worldwide by seeing clients online at the Successful Therapist Network we train individuals to provide services online in a responsible and ethical manner. Idea number seven, it sounds simple, but it's so important. Associate with successful therapists if you want to be a successful therapist. You've heard the expression, it's hard to soar with eagles when you're walking around with turkeys. Well, you've probably also heard the expression from King Solomon as iron sharpens iron, so one man or woman sharpens another. The reality is most of us don't know successful therapists. It's up to us to meet them and to learn from them. I've been mentored lately by two therapists who have been very helpful to me in my business practice. 
Now, where are you going to go to meet other therapists who you can learn from? AA is successful because members in Alcoholics Anonymous choose a sponsor who has something that they want. Business leadership stresses finding an exemplar and modeling success. I certainly encourage membership in the professional associations in order to meet other therapists who we consider to be successful individuals. The Successful Therapist Network is also a great place for you not just to learn from one person, but to learn from many different people. It's a network of like-minded therapists, all striving to reach success, and many of them having achieved success in many important areas of private practice. There are a lot of really practical ideas in the preceding portions of this video. If you take action just on one or two of those, I can promise you're gonna experience success in your private practice. But you have an opportunity, you have an opportunity to join us at the Successful Therapist Network and to find resources easily which can help you to experience success. Right below this video is a registration button. You can click that registration button and for just a dollar a day, seven dollars for the first seven days, you will get full access to everything at the platinum membership level of the Successful Therapist Network. Of course, you can cancel it anytime you want to, but if you choose to remain a member, you'll be charged $36.95 each month until you cancel. But here's the best part. Not only is your membership generally tax deductible, not only will you get expert advice that pays personal attention to you, you'll also have an opportunity to save on continuing education courses. You see, every Platinum member gets complete and full access to all of FastCEUs.com's online continuing education courses, including professional ethics and other state-required courses. How would you like to skip the payment button on all of your continuing education hours and take unlimited CE courses this year. You can take as many as you want and as often as you need if you're a Platinum member of the Successful Therapist Network. Each month at the Successful Therapist Network, I host monthly private practice development meetings. This is your opportunity to ask me questions, to get my feedback, and for me to provide some mentorship to you, even on an individual basis while other group members learn. Each week, at least Monday through Thursday, I post action tips that can help you to increase your success. These are usually two to five minute video clips with an actionable strategy each day. You will have full and unlimited training uh, access to our training on social media so that you're not spinning your wheels creating light pages that nobody's going to look at. You'll have expert guidance. You'll be able to ask questions at any time. And let me ask you, are you ready to profit from the convenience of online consults and services and to develop products? Would you like to move away from working with mentally ill clients who use third-party reimbursement and start seeing successful clients who are willing to pay your full fee? These are some of the opportunities that you have at the Successful Therapist Network. And I'm happy to show you how for only a dollar a day for the first seven days, uh, you can experience a new way of success and you won't be doing it alone. You'll have me and you'll have the network of successful therapists to back you up. Click the button below or scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, of this page and I will see you on the inside in our members only area of the Successful Therapist Network.